we shall discuss now what do we mean by the shent right now already we know the galvanometer what is the galvanometer galvanometer measures small amounts of currents why it will measure small amounts of currents in the construction of galvanometer galvanometer contains a rectangular coil on which an insulator copper wire is wound this rectangular coil has a large resistance thereby it will allow small amounts of currents suddenly when a large amount of current is passed through the galvanometer no doubt the galvanometer is going to be damaged the galvanometer is going to be heated very much therefore to avoid the damage done to the galvanometer due to the large currents to prevent the galvanometer from the large currents we are using a shunt concept what is the shunt a small resistance connected in parallel is called shunt resistance right a small resistance a small resistance connected in parallel is called shunt now what is the expression for shunt what is the current passing through the shunt and what is the current passing through the galvanometer now expression for shunt expression for shunt right let us consider this is the galvanometer galvanometer has the resistance capital g now this is the galvanometer now here this is the small resistance which is connected like this now this is the point a and this is a point b this is the shunt resistance now let us consider let us consider the total current i is passing towards the, this system as the current i reaches here the current is going to be divided according to the kirchhoff first law now here the current splits into ig and the current splits into is now ig passing through like this galvanometer is passing through the shunt resistance and reaches here as a total current i now as the large current is towards the galvanometer right the shunt resistance is very small shunt resistance is very small according to the ohms law v is equals to ir r i is equals to v by r or otherwise r is equals to what to say v by i now here whenever the shunt is having the resistance small that is this value is less as the current is inversely proportional to the resistance therefore this is called what to say more therefore as the total current is towards the galvanometer the almost all current bypassed through the shunt resistance only a small amount of current is passing through the galvanometer thereby the galvanometer is prevented from the large currents suppose shunt is not there whatever the total current is passing through the galvanometer then no doubt the galvanometer is damaged due to the joule's heat now by connecting the small resistance in parallel 
to the galvanometer whatever the total current coming like this whatever the total current coming like this right the current is going to be divided here some of the current is passing through the galvanometer which is called ig the remaining current is passing through the shunt resistance which is represented by is therefore ig and is which one has more value which one has less value as the shunt is very small as the shunt is very small therefore the current is maximum therefore the incoming current the total maximum current is bypassed through the shunt resistance but a little amount of current is passing through the galvanometer thereby by connecting the shunt resistance that makes a small current is passing through the galvanometer therefore there is no damage done to the galvanometer now here in this case the potential difference across the galvanometer the potential difference across the shunt because these two are in parallel the potential differences are same initially initially write galvanometer capital g and shunt resistance capital r are parallel galvanometer resistance capital g shunt resistance resistance capital s both are in parallel these two are in parallel as these two are in parallel the effective resistance the effective resistance effective resistance the resultant resistance is capital r then therefore 1 by r is equals to 1 by r 1 plus 1 by r2 therefore the effective resistance 1 by r is equals to what do you say 1 by g plus 1 by s therefore on simplification r is equals to that is g into s by g plus s is equals to this is the first equation next one right g and what to say resistances yes both are in parallel therefore both are in parallel right g and s are in parallel on parallel right the voltage potential drop remain constant remain constant remain constant therefore the potential across the galvanometer the potential across the shunt resistance the total potential difference are are equal therefore now here in this case the potential difference across the galvanometer the potential difference across the shunt and the po total potential difference all are always constant therefore according to the ohms law v is equals to ir now v is equals to ir potential difference across the galvanometer v is equals to ir therefore v is equals to ir therefore v is equals to ir v is equals to ir now potential drop potential difference across the galvanometer what is the current passing through the galvanometer ig what is the resistance of the galvanometer g next potential difference across the whole shunt what is the current passing through the shunt is what is the resistance of the shunt s right now what is the total current i what is the total resistance r i into r gives the total potential difference this is called what to say second equation or later i will tell you second equation therefore ig into g is equals to is into s is equals to what to say i into what to say r is equals to what to say g into s by g plus s therefore this is called what to say 
second equation. Now, what is the expression for Ig? What is the expression for Ig? What is the expression for Ig? Let us consider this is. Let us consider this is Ig into G is equals to that is I into what to say G plus S by G plus S. G into S by G plus S. Therefore, I G G gets cancelled. Therefore, I G is equals to I G is equals to S by G plus S into what to say total current. Therefore, what is the current passing through the galvanometer? Current passing through the galvanometer is equal to current passing through the galvanometer is equal to shunt resistance by total resistance into total current. Therefore, Ig is equal to S by G plus S into I. Next, what is the expression for shunt? What is the current passing through the shunt? Now, in the initial case, these two I am taking. In the next case, these two I am taking. Therefore, I s into s is equal to I into what do you say G into s by G plus s. Therefore, s s gets cancelled. Therefore, I s is equal to I into what do you say G by G plus s like this therefore that implies that implies now here in this case here in this case that is 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 equals to is is equals to g by g by g plus s g by g plus s into what do you say i now that is Current passing through the shunt. The current passing through the shunt. Is is equals to what do you say? G by G plus S into I. Right? Next one. We shall derive what is the expression for shunt. 